Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the online class. On behalf of Sunarga GR Institution, I am Joshi Budin Shorka, assistant teacher English. Uh, I hope everybody uh, is nice by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am also fine. Alhamdulillah. Uh, today I will take uh, take a class on English second paper for class nine. Uh, I hope everybody will sus subscribe our channel uh, so that the other students may might be benefited. Dear learners, Taikoma Bab is one of the important topics uh, of English grammar. Many students face uh, students face problems on this topic. So you have to remember that before learning Taikoma verbs, you have to have the basic idea about tense and verbs. So now uh, today I will uh, try to give some idea to you about Taikoma verbs and how can you solve difficult problem in the exam, I will try on this basis. There are some adverbs Normally, usually, regularly, always, occasionally, etc. indicates present dividends. Also present dividends because there is occasional. So you have to remember some adverbs normally, usually, regularly, always, and occasionally that indicates present dividends. Now, if there is now at present at this moment three adverbs, you have to remember three adverbs mentions present continuous tense. Example, they are playing now. It's an example of present continuous tense and now is the adverb that mentions present continuous tense. 
Now, Ruthi, if there are already recently, lately, yet, ever, just, just now, etc. So, you have to remember such advice already, recently, lately, yet, ever, just, just now. This adverse exists in the sentence mentions present perfect tense. That means if there, if there are such kind of adverbs, you have to uh, learn that the sentence must be in present perfect tense. For example, he has recently visited Syria. So recently the adverb that mentions present perfect has visited Present perfect tense. The total sentence is present perfect. He has recently visited Syria. Therefore, there is two specific things you have to learn: duration of time and point of time. So, what is duration of time? Duration of time means one hour, two hour, one day, two day, etc. And they are used for. And point of time. Specific time. They are used since. So, two preposition is used here since and for. A specific definite time. Since is for definite specific time. And for is for indefinite. That means duration of time. That denotes present perfect continuous tense. So if we have clear idea about present perfect continuous tense, so, you may easily uh, do the right form of verse. Example, I have been reading for an hour. Here, it's a present perfect continuous tense. Therefore, for duration of time, here, an hour. For uses before an hour. An hour is duration of time, indefinite time. An hour may be in any part of the day. It may be morning, in the morning, midday, evening, at night, etc. So it is indefinite. It is for duration of time. There is for. Another example: It has been raining since morning. It has been raining since morning. Yes, since. It's a preposition. It uses before morning. Morning is a specific time of day because the day begins with morning. So morning is specific time. It's point of time. Yeah. So two kinds of two kinds of time: specific time or indefinite time, duration of time, of time, point of time. They know present perfect continuous tense. So two examples are for present perfect continuous tense. You have to remember. Now rule 5, you have to remember, you have to bear in mind another adverbs like yesterday, last night, last week, last year, long since, ago or long ago, once upon a time. Such adverbs Bears the testimony to be past limit is a symptom of past limit is a symbol of past limit Example, he returned home last night. So last night adverbs indicates past limit is here return is the past form of verbs. So if you find any Adverbs of such listed adverbs. You must think it is an passive. It is a passive witness. Another example. Once upon a time. Here, lit a key. So once upon a time there denotes past ingredients, lead past ingredients. Okay.
Thank you everybody. Uh, please be with us and follow the class. Uh, I, I will make an episode on the grammar class. I think everybody will be attentive to my class and uh, wait for the next class. Uh, thank you.